Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Many refrigerator repairs or general maintenance will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, you should unplug the power cord. To remove the rear access panel, first remove the screw to release the water line. Next, remove the screws securing the rear panel itself. Pull the panel down and out to access components like the water inlet valve and the condenser fan motor. When the repair is complete, slide the rear access panel into the track and reinstall the screws to secure. Reposition the water line and secure it with the screw. To access the defrost control board, temperature control thermostat, the light switch or light socket, you will need to uninstall the control panel. Remove the two screws securing the control panel. Then pull the panel forward to release. You can detach the grounding wire and the crisper light wire connector for better access. If you do this, remove the screw to release the damper control arm to prevent it from breaking. Reinstall the control panel by aligning the slot in the damper control arm with the freezer control cam. Then replace the screw to secure the arm. Reconnect the crisper light wire connector and reattach the grounding wire to the heat shield. Align the control panel on the mounting tabs and push it into place. Replace the screws to secure. Components like the evaporator fan motor and defrost thermostat are located behind the rear panel in the freezer. To reach them, first remove any drawers or shelving from the freezer compartment. Next, remove the light cover. Now, uninstall the screws securing the rear panel. Lift the panel up off the mounting tabs and pull the panel out of the freezer compartment. Reposition the rear panel by inserting the top edge under the upper air duct and the bottom edge behind the drip tray. Make sure the middle of the panel is aligned on the mounting tabs. Reinstall the screws to secure. Snap the light cover into place. Then replace the shelving and drawers. To uninstall the ice maker, First remove the ice bucket. Now lift up the ice access door and pull off the ice maker cover. Remove the bottom screw securing the ice maker assembly mounting bracket. Loosen the top screws and lift the assembly off of the screws. Be aware the ice tray will likely be filled with water or ice. Release the thermal fuse from the retaining clip. Depress the retaining tab to release the wire harness and you can remove the ice maker assembly from the freezer. To reinstall the ice maker, snap the wire harness into place and secure the thermal fuse under the retaining clip. 
Align the fill cup with the water spout as you position the assembly on the screws. Tighten the screws. Replace the bottom screw to secure the assembly mounting bracket. Snap the cover onto the ice maker and close the ice access door. Replace the ice bucket. If you have trouble positioning the bucket, you can rotate the auger to fully seat the drive coupler. To replace any components in the auger assembly, first remove the ice bucket. Next, pull off the light cover and unthread the light bulb. Now remove the mounting screws to release the auger motor bracket. Pull the assembly away from the rear panel and disconnect the wire harness. Remove the auger assembly from the freezer compartment to access the auger motor or solenoid. When the repair is complete, return the auger assembly to the freezer and connect the wire harness. Align the assembly on the mounting posts and replace the screws to secure. Thread the light bulb into place. Snap on the light cover and replace the ice bucket. To repair any water and ice dispenser components, first pull out the drip tray. Now insert a putty knife behind the bottom of the dispenser facade and push the facade down while using the putty knife to pull the facade outward. Note the orientation of the dispenser panel switch wires, then disconnect them from the switch. Now remove the screw securing the light and switch housing. Depress the tabs to release the housing. You can use tape to hold it out of the way. When the repair is complete, remove the tape and snap the light and switch housing into position. Secure it with the screw. Reconnect the wires to the appropriate terminals on the dispenser switch. Align the top of the dispenser facade on the top edge of the housing, then snap it into position and replace the drip tray. For some repairs, or when moving the refrigerator through a tight space, you may need to remove one or both doors. When removing the freezer door, first remove the lower access panel to access the dispenser water line. Pull out the line and disconnect it from the coupler. Now, when removing either the freezer door or the refrigerator door, Remove the screw securing the upper hinge cover and pull the cover off. Disconnect the door wire harness and the grounding wires if applicable. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to remove the mounting screws securing the upper hinge. Partially open the door, then carefully lift it off the bottom hinge. When you're ready to remount the door, consider applying some silicone-based grease to the lower cam first. Now position the door. If you're replacing the freezer door, make sure the dispenser water line is first inserted through the hole in the hinge pin. 
then slide the door onto the pin. Reposition the upper hinge and secure it with the mounting screws. Reconnect the door wire harness and the grounding wires, if applicable. Reposition the hinge cover and secure it with the screw. If applicable, reconnect the dispenser water line to the coupler. Realign the lower access panel and snap it into place. With the refrigerator fully reassembled, you're ready to plug the power cord back in and confirm that the appliance is functioning properly.